Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about some Manny myths. These are things that I get asked all of the time and I have my own opinion on them, but I did a little research on each one to confirm or deny my suspicions. So without further ado, let's jump right into them. The first Manny myth is that your nails need to breathe. And this is false. Your nails do not need to breathe. They're made up of keratin, which is a protein similar to that of our hair. And they receive oxygen and nutrients from the blood in your hands and your feet, not from the air. So while our nails don't necessarily have to breathe, sometimes they can benefit from taking a break in between manicures, especially if you're noticing any discoloration, which could be due to polish, dehydrated cuticles, rough or white patches, or any kind of peeling, ridges, or splitting. So while your nails don't need to breathe between manicures, every once in a while it might be a good idea. Number two, cutting your cuticles is harmful. And this is true. When we cut our cuticles, we create an opening for bacteria to get in and cause infection, which at best take a pretty long time to heal or at worst could actually cause your nails to fall off. I've never personally experienced that, but it is something that could happen. Cutting your cuticles could also increase the likeliness of developing hangnails, which are super uncomfortable and usually pretty unsightly. If you've ever had one, you know they are the worst. They are and many times our cuticle clippers could transfer infection to your nails, especially if they aren't properly sterilized. So do not share your nail tools if possible and always try to keep them clean. All right, number three, nail enhancements like tips, acrylic, gel, or dip manicures damage your nails. False. This is one that I like to talk about all of the time. None of these enhancements will damage your nails. The damage comes into play when the enhancements aren't applied or removed. So buffing or filing the surface of your nail too much will result in the thinning of it. Same goes for when you rip or peel off your polish or enhancements. You're literally removing layers of your nails, making them really weak and really brittle. In addition to that, improper hygiene when wearing enhancements could also lead to infections, which could lead to damaged nails as well. So the enhancements themselves Themselves are not going to damage your nails. How you apply them, how you remove them, and how you care for them will. All right, this is one of my favorites. Nails grow faster in the summer. This is true. This is something that I've always believed because I always have my best nails in the summer months. They just are thriving. They feel stronger. They look so healthy. They're always so, so long, and there's a reason behind it. The reason our nails thrive during the summer is because of the increased exposure to vitamin D. The sun is a natural source of vitamin D, which is crucial for nail growth. Growth is also encouraged by an increase in blood flow, and we typically see the increase in flow and metabolic activity during that time of year. People tend to be more active during the summer, which could stimulate blood flow to the extremities, which in turn helps our nails grow. So I always felt like that was true. I always felt like my nails looked better in the summer and now I know why. All right, last but not least, cold water helps your nail polish to dry faster. And this is false. Have you ever submerged your wet manicure into a bowl of ice water to help it dry faster? This is something I used to do all the time, especially when I was younger. Contrary to popular belief, cold water does not help your nail polish dry faster, but rather delays the process. The only thing that's going to ensure that your manicure is 100% dry is patience, and that's the hardest thing for most people to have when it comes to anything. The cold water nail hack may seem promising because after you do it, your nails will feel dry to the touch, but ultimately you're just sealing that top layer of polish without allowing the bottom layer to fully dry. So after you do that, if you get a small nick on your nail, you're gonna be left with a big mess or a gooey and uneven manicure. So a couple of tips that I have for drying your nails faster is to one, make sure that you have plenty of uninterrupted time when you sit down to do your nails. Make sure that you have nothing to do after. You're not gonna go unload the dishwasher or get ready for bed. Make sure that you did all of your handiwork beforehand to a fast drying top coat. It's gonna make all the difference. I have used and recommended INM out the door for years. I do like Sesha V, although I find that it gets gloopy kind of quickly, like the bottle. And I've recently become a fan of Glisten and Glow, which you can order online. All three are amazing top coats that will dry super, super fast. In addition to that, make sure that you're painting thin layers of polish onto your nails. You usually want to avoid thick layers of polish. That's gonna make for a really gooey manicure that's gonna take a while to dry. So that is it. Those are just a few of the many myths that I see floating around around that I'm asked about that we debunked or confirmed today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other Manny myths to share, please leave them in the comments below and let me know if you want me to make a part two. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!